welcome back to Spill the Beans podcast. My name is Lester. Hi everyone, I'm Paolo. You know what? This feels like uh, just one one podcast after another. Uh. Yes. Uh, it just might might be me. I'm, I might be dreaming, but it really feels like we just did a podcast a few minutes ago. Little little lang. Yeah, but this is another day. So all right, today this is still uh, we have another uh, YouTube talk segment. <laughs> another content creator and uh, this content creator is very uh, such a renaissance woman she uh, does music uh, she's also a gamer she does feature vlogs also does uh, travel vlogs actually there's nothing that she doesn't do <laughs> so right now we have as our guest uh, Summer is Live. That's her YouTube handle name, Summer. Can you say hi, hi to your... Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. You're most welcome. Yes. Uh, actually, we're a little confused. We don't know. Since you have so much content, <laughs> uh, we don't know which one to start with. But I think the best one to start with right now is your YouTube uh, channel. Sure. Your, yeah, th- this is Summer is Live. Yes. Uh, I know our TV is big, but uh, can you make it 40-year-old friendly, please? <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> there we go. So we can start talking about all of the content of Summer. Summer, can you introduce uh, some of the content that uh, you make on YouTube? Sure. So there's actually an evolution of content if you start from the very bottom. Okay. Um, I think my first video was actually at GDC. Okay. So that is a game developers conference in San Francisco. Wow. Probably hands on one of my favorite conferences that I've ever been to. Okay. Wow. So this was your first, your very first one. Yes, my very first conference. Okay. And this is Who the first. Who are fir- we watching? <laughs> we just want to take a look at it. All right. So this Please is. Please excuse my editing skills. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Your first uh, video is always your worst. Right? Yes. Wow. It looks so different. No, in a good way. In a very good way. Uh, uh, I, I I feel the gamer vibe here yeah. on, 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 on this first episode. Yeah. All right. So this was uploaded when? Um, so I think there, April 30th, 2018. 2018? Yeah. It's still fairly recent. Yep. I just, yeah. actually, this account is fairly new. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. But this was, this uh, gaming event was in 2018 as well. Yes. All right. So what what was happening in that gaming event? So um, it's basically one of the biggest conferences for game developers okay. and artists or anyone interested in games. And we be, you basically got to see the latest in game technology. Okay. So I tried on um, AR, VR equipment and stuff like that. It was really cool. Okay. I, I got lost there. So for all the old folks out there, <laughs> AR and VR, what is AR? So AR is augmented reality uh-huh. and uh, virtual reality virtual reality so all of those cool little yeah gadgets, gadgets. yeah wow uh, summer it really seems like you wear a lot of hats no so <laughs> uh, you're a musician you're a gamer you're a content creator uh, for you which is first are you a singer first are you a musician Ooh. first I'm an artist. You're an artist. Yeah. I cannot be defined. I am an artist. Yes. I told my accountant that one time. She got <laughs> mad. <laughs> no, we have to define you by numbers. Okay. Mm. So for you, uh, you are an artist. And uh, I can really see that. Uh, even the way you carry yourself. Uh, what I mean by that. Okay. Baka the old guys get confused <laughs> again. What I mean by that. Because for us old guys, when we meet each other, we already know, okay, this guy's a lawyer. This one's an accountant. This one's a stockbroker. The, there's a certain mm-hmm. way we carry ourselves, but for artists, it is true. You guys can't be defined, <laughs> and, and I, I just—that's I, not lip service. I'm not just saying that, mm-hmm. but it's really how artists are. Hindi namin talaga ma-predict kung sino ba yung kausap namin. So for you, uh, you're saying you're an artist. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'll just rephrase my question. <laughs> Which is your first love, ba? Ooh. Is it gaming? Is it music? Is it uh, vlogs? So I do love to perform. I actually like singing and dancing. So those oh, are my, wow. my two top. Yeah, I like. Wow. If you're going to really make me choose. <laughs> so it's singing and, singing and dancing. dancing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow, the two things that I have no talent in. <laughs> okay. So singing and dancing. Mm-hmm. How did you start with singing? Um, with singing, oh my goodness. Yeah. I think, I mean, a lot of Filipinos grew up with music, right? So yes. I feel like it's been a part of my life ever since. Um, ah. 
Karaoke. <laughs> karaoke. Uh, uh-uh. Yeah, well, actually, um, growing up, my mom is also a singer. My brother loves uh, to sing and make music as well. Uh-huh. So it's been around ever since we were little. We actually yeah. used to uh, sing while doing chores. Wow, that's true. <laughs> like that's, musicals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So at least it's a very happy household. It was, yeah. yeah. So when did the dancing kick in? Dancing. Um, so I did ballet. I think I think I was as young as three years old. Wow, yeah, he did ballet. Think, yeah, three years old, and then um, I continued all the way until high school. Okay. And then I actually transitioned to uh, the different styles, jazz, contemporary, hip-hop as well. Wow, you so. are one very busy young adult, <laughs> right? So yeah. where does gaming come in? Ooh, okay. Gaming, I guess, actually, um, my dad took me to a computer shop and yeah. we played Counter-Strike. You played Counter-Strike. <laughs> yeah, so I, I played Counter-Strike, I think it was like 1.3 or oh. 1.6. Uh, old counter strike old counter strike wow i think i tried counter strike one time and then i had to take bonamin after <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just wasn't That's working so it wasn't working for me yeah. you know uh, first person view it's just uh, i i'm so dizzy it, <laughs> It's been, it's similar to riding a roller coaster for yeah. me. I have to ask, why is it for some people? Because I researched this. Because mm-hmm. I, I was thinking, am I the only one who gets dizzy during a video game? So a lot of people mm. can't play. So do you guys know why? Maybe it, maybe yeah. you just need to play more. Just no, play more until you can't tell the it, difference. It has to do something with the frames per second on how it changes. Oh, so a, a, apparently, uh, there's, there are certain yeah. speeds that... that uh, already makes you very nauseous. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. So, but anyway, we can fact check that. We can fact check that. <laughs> We're not here to talk about my medical condition <laughs> and <laughs> all the things that make me nauseous. Uh, so you were a gamer. Uh, you're a gamer, not were a gamer. You're still a gamer now. Yes. I, uh, yeah, I don't get to game as much yes. just because I'm busy creating other content too, but uh, I still love video games. Yeah, so I try as much as possible to play. So, When mm-hmm. is someone defined as a gamer? Well, um, I actually, you know, even when you play like three, four, five games in a month, well, <laughs> that's a good question because yeah. you know there was a bad connotation to being a gamer girl, oh, you right. know, because you're like, oh, you don't really, you just hold a controller and take pictures. Oh, that's the ga- gamer girl. Okay. So I don't know. Actually, I'm not really sure what the definition is. Uh, but okay. So even when people ask me, "Are you a gamer?" like I'm like, uh, yes. <laughs> like oh. I don't know. How to oh, okay. So yeah. within the circle of gamers. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's somewhat of a, could you call it, a negative connotation that gamer girls are just there to look pretty. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, very much similar to the, 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 the MMA scene or the mm-hmm. fighting scene. Girls are just there to look pretty. Dao. Yeah. Those, that's where I'm not saying that's how it is. I'm yeah. just saying that's the, the perception mm-hmm. at times. So gamers uh, is one of the biggest um, demographic on a lot of mediums, right? It's, I think it's also on YouTube. There's, there are a lot of gamers. Uh, Lester, do you, you play, right? You play some, uh, you, you, you like to play video games? Uh, What's your favorite game? Mostly parang mga RPG games or... Oh, sige. So, para sa mga ka-age ko nga, ano ba yung RPG? <laughs> ah, yung mga online. <laughs> RPG. Uh. So, role-playing games, yeah. right? So, ano yung mga... Yes. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Naglalaro siya. Oh, no, I, I, I did try. I, actually, it's still my dream to buy a, a PS4. Nice. Uh, but the thing is, there's just no time to play. Uh, and also, I, I get... The, I, I want to play the new God of War. Is that the one? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, because we we have collectibles, and there was a statue one time of a oh. God of War. So um, uh, that's one thing that I want to play, and the reviews are very good, right? Okay, so we were talking about mm-hmm. summer. Uh, summer is a singer, uh, a dancer, mm-hmm. correct, and also a gamer. Uh, but right now, there, since there's so many aspects uh, to your person, mm-hmm. uh, do you? Uh, do you upload on a certain uh, uh, platform? Instagram, actually, is Instagram. My, probably my most consistent one. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. okay. So let's pull it up. Let's yeah. pull up Instagram. So in Instagram, what do you share? Um, pretty much the same thing. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so similar things, just more often. Okay. Um, but Walk in Love is actually something that I'm really passionate about. Um, it's uh, something that I started to encourage people to live a life of love. So a lot of my posts will be about spreading positivity and trying to encourage people. 
You have a beautiful voice. Oh, no? thank you. Grabe, yeah, para talaga pang, pang radio. Wow. I, f- I feel so uh, I feel so out of place here. No, hey, yeah. you have a very nice voice as well. <laughs> I will tell you what the comment is. There was one comment on, on one of our videos. I'll just tell you about it later because I don't want to ruin the momentum. But uh, can we go up? Can we click on dance? Is that, po- is that you're okay? Ooh, oh sure. That yeah, you want on the highlight? Yeah, Instagram? yeah. Uh, so this one, if I can pre- uh, preface, um, yeah. it's a, it's <laughs> I was live streaming <laughs> on Kumu actually. Okay. So this is just a screenshot. Um, I did Polynesian dance as well in college. Wow. So <laughs> yeah, it's Polynesian. You, you know what? The the younger ones, mm-hmm. you guys just have a lot of skills now. <laughs> You know, when back in my day, we were one or the other. Right now, you guys know how to dance. You know how to sing. It's a very creative generation. Mm. So this is uh, what, what do you call this dance? So this is yeah, this is Polynesian. Ah, yeah, this is actually okay. All right. Mm. You know, uh, <laughs> summer. We also have another dancer here. Ooh. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Mm. But but he doesn't want to show the he doesn't want to show the Sample. clip. Sample. <laughs> he doesn't want to show the clip because I already asked him to pull it up the last uh, with the last oh. guest. <laughs> uh, uh, topic natin is si summer. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yes, our topic is summer. So summer, <laughs> uh, summer right now. Uh, we'll show that uh, on the on the podcast. Summer just showed us some of the clips while she was dancing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love the uh, the the what do you call this the the categories that you have on oh. on your Instagram. So. Oh, there's can can we pull up uh, Kumu? What is that Kumu? <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, okay. So what am I looking at here? There's it seems. Uh, what is this? <laughs> so this is actually um, a snapshot of one of their very first game shows on Kumu. Oh, so, yeah. okay. Kumu actually has a li- live game shows every day. Okay. And they give away cash prizes. It's completely free. You can just mm. download the app store and uh, you enter in there. Uh, during the game show times. Okay. And so you're a host? Is that? Uh, um, yeah, actually, I host now on one of the shows on Wednesdays. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So you're a host on Kumu, and that is with their game show? Yes, a, it's, a li- it's a live game show on okay. your phone. Mm-hmm. It's a live game show on your phone, while yes. everything right now is really digital <laughs> and very mobile. Yeah. So w- what, w- can you tell us a little bit about the game show? Yeah, so um, the one that I host is called May Tamaka. Mm-hmm. May Tamaka. May ta- May tama ka. Ah, okay. May tama ka ba? <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. So, so for, uh, can you explain that in English, Lester? What does that mean, may tama ka? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Is, is, I don't know. Is, is the, isn't the English, is, uh, for, for our foreign subscribers, <laughs> because not all of our su- subscribers are Filipinos. So, it, it's a play on words, yes. right? So, uh, you're saying... Uh, in the game show, na may tama ka. You, do you have a correct answer or, or something? Yes, yes. Yeah, but it's also a colloquial in Tagalog na you're saying, uh, is everything okay up there? Up is there. there a loose Mentally. crew? Mentally, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yes, that's right. All right, so that's that's the, the premise of mm-hmm. your game show. All right, so what, what what's this may tama ka game show? How, what do you guys do there? So it's actually um, five trivia questions, okay. but your only options are tama malet, which is true or false. Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys have good writers. Yeah, actually, or, or I come up with the questions. Uh, so yeah. you, you also conceptualized the show. Um, yeah, we actually, it's a user-generated show. So yes, oh. uh, it was all Kumu users who came together and we put on the show, yeah. You guys are, this app is smart. It's like the Airbnb of creators, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, you yes. create this, you create that, right? Right? Yeah, and, and technically, really cool. the production cost is already immediately brought down. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's All really right. Cool. It's cool. All right. Let's look at the next image. Yeah. I don't even know what we're... Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, so this is your new song. Or is that a new song? So this one was actually one of the cover photos that I used because I did um, weekly uh, music streams. So I used to okay. sing. And now you can actually earn money from the app. So people will gift you. And once you reach 50,000 diamonds, you can actually cash that out. Wow, fifty yeah. thousand diamonds. How much? That, how much is that That's in peso one, value? One thousand pesos. Uh, fifty thousand diamonds mm-hmm. is one thousand pesos. Yes. Or, ah, okay. Yeah. All right. So let's move to the. Ne- uh, can they see that song now, or is that? Oh yes. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. You actually can see it on Spotify. On Spotify. Yes. Uh, okay. So you can uh, on Spotify. We'll just uh, show the link. Na lang. No one's. Uh, sure. We'll show the link on Spotify on her song. Yes. Okay. So next one is. 
Summer, hala, my eyes. <laughs> summer, summer so, sings from so, Manila. Yeah, my hashtag ah. is actually Summer Sings. If you go onto Instagram, you can check mm. out more videos of me singing from way back. From way, way back. Way, back, yeah. Uh, okay, Summer <laughs> Sings. When, 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 when we say way back, how way back are we talking about? Not when you were a kid, right? <laughs> hmm, maybe like six years, five years ago. Ah, yeah. okay. All right. Yeah. But later, we'll type that hashtag, Summer <laughs> Sings. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, what's this next one? Oh, okay. So we actually, um, I did a live stream and I got to mix some Salvary Rum drinks. Okay. Uh, and we gave away a bottle that was signed by Bruno Mars. Signed by Bruno yeah. Mars. How did you guys do that? We're, we're friends. No, we're friends. No, I'm just <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I have to check uh, the signature. Uh, we have to have it authenticated. Okay, so it's a rum signed by Bruno Mars. Yeah. All right. So this is your, all right. On the next picture, mm-hmm. what is this? And I, th- these are IG stories right yeah these are my i i just highlights of some okay. IG stories mm-hmm. all right so what's this next one um this one is oh i covered an event at bite me manila it was actually here in bgc it was in uh, high street what's bite me manila bite me manila oh it was a really nice uh, music and arts fest oh. like food food uh food food and music food, and, yeah. music. food and music festival all right that always uh, works well together food yeah. and music all right, so Summer, you have content on Instagram, you have mm-hmm. content on YouTube, and I can see that you also have content on on Kumu. Yes. Uh, do you segregate uh, the, the the content that you have if it's for singing, it's for a certain medium, if it's dance, it's a certain medium, mm-hmm. or it's just all in in Kumu, in YouTube, and Instagram? Yeah, as you can see, actually, it's all mm-hmm. like I kind of like to mix them mm-hmm. up together. Um, yes. I, you know what? I debated that for a long time, especially when I started this new account under Summer is Live. Yeah. Um, I, th- a lot of people actually say choose your niche, right? Yeah. Like, yep. Make sure that you just pick one thing. Yes. But I don't know. It doesn't. It it wasn't enough to just do one thing and yeah. I feel I'll get bored easily if you, somebody just, just tells me to just focus on one thing focus on one thing so I just found that um, one thing that unites them all is that I want it to bring love and happiness to people mm-hmm. so walk in love becomes that uniting factor between all those things I like it walk yeah. in love mm-hmm. alright yeah. there's a link there I want to click on that <laughs> link maybe we Actually, should oh there's only one highlight so far I should add more there ah yeah walk in love how mm-hmm. did you come up with that walk in love Okay. Wow. Okay. That's a longer story, but I can share a little bit about it. So walk in love to me. um, I basically want to encourage people that their past doesn't define their future. Right. So that's like the main premise behind it, because I guess um, a lot of people go through Mm -hmm. things in life. Right. So Mm -hmm. um, whether, you know, you were not the person that you wanted to be before, Mm -hmm. or maybe people have hurt you and therefore you're holding on to hurt and bitterness yeah so basically walk in love is telling you to make the decision and make the choice right now to go forward and to walk in love i like that yeah you can also be a psychiatrist i'm always (laughs) about i'm I'm ready about to tell you all my personal problems (laughs) i like that walk walk in love i like it so you're saying it's like your mistakes don't define you the Mm -hmm. past doesn't define you yeah right you can walk in love i love that you guys are branding experts so many (laughs) branding experts right so okay walk in love Mm -hmm. this is uh, what am i looking at here uh this is your oh this is just a post i did this morning actually um the caption, I think, just says a, a couple ways that you can walk in love. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So walk in love is mm-hmm. your tenet. That's 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 the the uh, that's the phrase that follows summer, mm-hmm. right? So just like for Teddy, say just trust your journey. Yeah. Uh, for you, it's walk in love. Yes. All right. And uh, <laughs> what, what are we zooming uh, in on? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. So all right. So this is Instagram. Uh, mm-hmm. Summer is on Instagram. Summer is on um, on YouTube. And Summer is also on Kumu. Uh, on YouTube, uh, what you have there are feature vlogs, your travel vlogs, uh, your singing. Is there any dancing on on uh, on YouTube? I have I have on YouTube. Yeah. It would be on my old account, actually. It I haven't be on posted your... any on my new new account. Okay, yet. so you have two accounts. So I right do. now, the subscribers who who are watching. Mm-hmm. Uh, for all the memory keepers out there, uh, what should they follow if you have two accounts? Uh, when they search you, are, are two channels going to come up? 
Um, no, because it's the first one is with my last name. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so, so you can tot- you can t- I'm I don't mind if you yeah. look at it. It's under Summer Sevilla. Summer Sevilla. But I don't post on it anymore. You don't. Uh, but okay. you can totally check it out. Um, and your dancing is there. I think I have. Yeah, I think I actually have Polynesian, another Polynesian or hula. Okay. I, I have one dance, recent da- heels dance video yeah. on Instagram. I okay. haven't uploaded much dance recently. I okay, w- why the incl- inclination towards Polynesian dance? Um, I, I was actually co-president of a club in college. Okay. So I just like hopped into it and um, my grandma did it, my mom did it. So Okay. Yeah. Are, are you uh, born and raised here or where, where did you go to school? I was born and raised in California. Oh, yeah. all right. But you're also fluent in Tagalog. E, kind of. Yes. Kind oh, of. Maroon ng kont. Pangit lang yung accent. Pero you're, bo- you're born and raised in? Uh, yeah, in Orange County, California. Orange yeah. County, California. So uh, you were there uh, from uh, when you were a kid until... What age? Yes. So um, I actually moved around a lot. Okay. Um, so I, w- I was actually staying in L.A. Yeah. I was born in Orange County, but I grew up in Glendale, actually. I don't know okay. if you know Glendale. Yeah. It's Burbank, Pasadena yeah. area. And um, I went to high school here in the Philippines. Uh, so I went back just for high school, and then I went back for college as well. You went back for college. Yeah. So what made you go back to the Philippines? Um, now, mm-hmm. actually to pursue my music and uh, because of Kumu. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what year was that? What year did you come back? Like two months ago. <laughs> two months ago. Wow. We're so yeah. lucky to have you. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, one of, your, one of the... Uh, have you ever guessed it on other YouTube channels? Um, n- Not yet? Not yet. No, oh, I yeah. think this See, would be my you. first one. We're very lucky to have you. And you've yes. just been here for two months. Officially. I've been back and forth since yeah. about November. But yes, officially like kind of back here two months ago. For two months. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, shall we ask her to sing? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 I won't put you on the spot. Okay. So uh, as we were saying, uh, you're a content creator, not just exclusively for one medium. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have YouTube. You have two channels there. You have Summer is Live. And then you also have Summer Sevilla. Sevilla, yeah. Sevilla, Sevilla. okay. And then you also have your Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, Instagram is summer is underscore summer is live mm-hmm. one word. Uh, do you have uh, the, the 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 social media platform that is the favorite of all old people? Do you have Facebook? Of course. Yeah, Facebook. <laughs> yes. Okay. So on Facebook, is it an open profile? Can people follow you there? Yes. So you, I actually have a page. Summer is live as well. Okay. Yeah. Now I have to ask. Mm-hmm. Um, there's so many mediums. Yeah. Uh, you, you have Facebook. You have Instagram. There's mm-hmm. two on on YouTube. And then now you also have Kumu, and mm-hmm. you also you were saying uh, I'm not sure if I I got that right. You're also on Twitch. Uh yes. You're also I'm on, on Twitch. Twitch. Okay, mm-hmm. on Twitch, can people follow you? Yes, Summer is live as well. Summer mm-hmm. is live on Twitch. Okay, so you're on Twitch, you're on mm-hmm. Facebook, you're on YouTube, you're on Instagram, and now you're on Kumu. Mm-hmm. Um, can you talk more about Kumu? Because I I know all of the other platforms that mm-hmm. you were talking about. Uh, but what is this uh, platform that uh, you guys are, are you call as Kumu? Sure. So Kumu is a live streaming app okay. uh, made by Pinoy's and for Pinoy's. Okay. Um, actually, sorry. Made for Pinoy's and for everyone. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's good. Yes. There you go. For everyone. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, but actually it does prioritize the voice of Filipinos. Okay. So it prioritizes the voice of Filipinos all over the world. All right. Um, we have uh, people in Italy, Canada, the States, um, okay. Dubai, so everywhere. Uh, streamers all over the world. Yeah. That's a very wide demographic. Mm-hmm. And and for the non-YouTubers, uh, just to let you know, I think um, we, we say that our number one export buy is... Uh, is manpower, no? Parang ganon. But the thing is, because I see so many foreigners now coming to the Philippines looking for subscribers, mm-hmm. no? Because yeah. Filipinos do have a tendency and they, they really like uh, digital platforms. Mm-hmm. So now for Kumu, for, for everyone who's just starting out, uh, for other content creators on other platforms who are on Facebook, Instagram, uh, or YouTube, Kumu is also another option for them right now. Yes, yes. What would be one thing, one thing that would encourage them to go to Kumu? 
Oh, one thing? Or what's the immediate thing? Sorry, not just one <laughs> thing, but what's the immediate, the immediate uh, thing. thing that comes to mind if you say, all right, Kumu is, is good for content creators? My biggest thing is the community. The community. And we actually say Kumunity. Like Kumunity. K U M U. Okay. Yeah. But uh, as, let's say YouTube will tell you, uh, well, well, we also have that. We <laughs> have that. We have a very big community. Mm -hmm. So, what's the difference with. Uh, uh, community. Community. Well, yeah. you know what? For me, mm -hmm. com the our community is yeah. nothing like I I've ever seen on any other platform. Okay. Just because they're so positive and they're so supportive. Ah, uh, um, that's. You, you okay. will not find like haters or bashers or okay. you know people who are just there to ruin your day. Uh, you, like we get that. We get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. You know, Kumu, ha I believe, has worked really hard to maintain a culture of love and positivity, and that's yeah. why I was so drawn to it. Okay, so not not one uh, not one negative comment yet on your platform uh, on your profile. I think, you know what? Maybe during one of the live shows. Yeah. I've definitely gotten. Um, I think what I get is maarte. Maarte. Which means you know. Like, yeah, yeah. Because uh, of my it. accent. Okay. And I try as much as possible to speak Tagalog. So yeah. sometimes, of course, my accent makes me sound, I guess, maarte. Yes. But <laughs> does it affect you? Does it really um, affect you the, when, when people start to give you negative comments? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It really? does. I mean, I'm learning to like have that filter where it's, you know, don't take it personally. But, uh, you know, it, it's hard to like not take those to, to uh, the, yeah. Uh, so so how, how long does it take? <clears throat> because I, I get a lot. I get mm -hmm. a lot of negative comments. Yeah. Uh, how, long do, do, how long does it take for you before you can say, ah, all right, that wasn't really, that, 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 that comment didn't really affect me? I think it's once you're confident enough in who you are uh, that you don't look for validation from other people. That's that you're true. Like, that's okay. You can think true. I'm Marte. I'm fine with who I am. That's then. true. Very good. Or one aspect also is when you're old enough. <laughs> <laughs> when you're old enough and you just don't care. I'll tell you one of the uh, I'll tell you one of the comments that I love. The, the negative comment. Yeah. Uh, what did that person say? Uh, parang si Kermit the Frog lang ang peg <gasps> ng voice. Uh, I, I actually saved that one, oh my but gosh. but uh, here's the thing. Here's my my how I go about it. Mm -hmm. But I have to ask first. I have to ask Lester. Ikaw naman kamo sa when there's negative comments. Uh, well, first, parang syempre, uh, affected ka dahil uh, kung baka parang inaatake yung personal uh, uh, side mo. But then eventually, natutunan ko din na. Uh, no, I let go na lang yung yes. na sabi mo. Or, <laughs> let go na lang. Uh, okay. So for me, how I do it, because I, I get the, the, the bulk of the negative comments. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, I do filter out the comments because I also protect the guests that yeah. come, come to That's the good. show. That's yeah. good. Because yeah. I don't want any of them to read the negative comments. Uh, what I usually suggest for everyone is that uh, in the same manner that you try to neglect uh, insults, mm -hmm. do it with compliments. Because mm. once you receive the compliment, yes, uh, it's good. And as long as the person giving the, com the compliment is very genuine about it, that's fine. But, but don't swim and dwell on the compliments. Uh, because if you keep thinking about the compliments all throughout the day and when you sleep and you, you think about, wow, sabi niya, guapo daw ako or matalino ako. And then you keep thinking about the, that, that, that one compliment the whole time. It'll only take a few insults before you forget about all those compliments. Don't swim, don't dwell on the compliments so you won't sink in the insults, right? Because it's hard if, if you put yourself out there your your personal talent, your 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 person who you are online. You better be ready yeah. for some really nasty. No, it's true. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, for Kumu, you're saying that is still a very small demographic of people who just so say negative the things. The really cool thing about Kumu is there is actually what we call uh, I guess we call them Kumu police. Oh, yeah. And so, ano ba like Operation Talk hang ba sila? <laughs> Meron ba mga warrant of arrest daw? Yeah, so actually mm. um, if there's anyone inappropriate, there are people um, who you they'll automatically like get banned. Ah. Um, depends. Sometimes they'll get a warning, but if it's really inappropriate and they actually everybody kind of knows you're not supposed to do that. That's why in fact even the Kumu police like their jobs are made easier because even the users, the viewers, the watchers, they know exactly the kind of 
culture that Kumo has created. Mm-hmm. So it's like everybody's like, mm, yeah. that's not allowed here, you know? So, wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, the, the fact that Kumo can do that. Yeah. Uh, how do you know that they're Kumo police? Is that they, do they um, have uh, their icon comes out, a badge comes out? No, you don't know. You don't know? <laughs> that's why the people are always watching. Uh, so, <laughs> so the ad bins really monitor. Mm-hmm. But you guys have so many downloads. There's already one million, yeah. right? So as that, as the app grows, mm-hmm. that community that um, yeah. is really crucial, you know, as it expands, like, are you able to really build a culture where you, uh, know, okay. you set so, the standard? Basically? So, so that's what, what you're saying right now with, with uh, as a content creator, mm-hmm. especially as a startup content creator, uh, it's easier to grow in Kumu. And uh, it's it's more beneficial for your disposition, for your mindset, mm-hmm. because there's not a lot of negative comments, yes. and the administrators or whoever monitors the comments really uh, police uh, their own. Uh, yeah. You won't hear a lot of these very bad, very negative comments. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, have you ever seen a- any content back from uh, Kumu Lester? Ah, oh, wala pa. First time ko lang din siyang Ah, uh, first time. Actually, ako, first time ko din, pero nakita ko yung gay Summer. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Summer. Yes, the, summer. the one of Summer is actually very interesting. So, Summer, just to uh, let the subscribers and the memory keepers know, uh, once they go on Kumu, how do they go on Kumu? Do they have to create an account? Yeah, so all you have to do is download the app. Okay. Uh, it's available for iOS and for Android. Okay. And it's completely free. All okay. you have to do is uh, set up an account, uh, pick a username, and mm-hmm. then just follow the, uh, the steps, and it'll help you if you want to uh, start with the game shows or if you want to start um, live streaming as well to earn money okay yeah, you can do it all there uh, mm-hmm. okay so the, the uh, it's it's very similar to the other platforms you just create your account mm-hmm. and then you'll be able to see all the other contents yeah. that you have there so it's segregated is it segregated because uh, 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 we can't open one right now sure, uh, w- what are they to expect when, once they open it uh, what's the opening interface or yeah, when you open the app, actually, mm-hmm. so you have your, um, I believe there are like four, I don't have my phone in front of me, yeah. there are four buttons, um, you have one that shows all the f- the li- the people that are currently live right now, Okay. so they, they're like in little squares, almost like stories, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So you gotcha. can click on them, and that's how you enter a live stream okay. that's currently live right now, so that could just be, you know, me on my cell phone, like, hey, everybody, uh, I'm live. Or, yeah, you'll enter something like that. That's that's what it looks like, the live streams right oh, there. Okay, and so you live stream. Yeah, I live stream. How mm-hmm. often do you live stream? Um, As much as I can, yeah. I, I used to do uh, weekly shows. Okay. Um, and then I put that on pause for a little bit because I was working on my songs. Okay. But I'm okay. back now, so I'm going to be doing... Um, yeah, more streams. Okay, so when you say weekly shows, uh, you, the game show you you uh, you participate in that's mm-hmm. for Kumu itself. That's not your account. Yeah, it's for it's yeah. It's, it's for, for Kumu, Kumu. Mm-hmm. for your your own content. How often do you upload? Do you call it upload buffer Kumu? Mm, yeah, it's different because you're not uploading. I guess because uh, you're li- you're it's it's, it's it's live. You're live streaming. Yeah, you're live streaming. Right. So okay. I would go live. Um, so for example, like I would do a walk in love Wednesday, music Monday. Um, I like it. Sometimes I'll play video games or... I, have you heard of Jackbox TV? TV? No. It's a game where um, you can stream and then you can get people all over the world to just join in on their phones. Wow. Yeah, and you can stream. So they're watching the stream and playing the game with you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you, you can do wow. that uh, here. It's fun. It's fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, so all these other profiles that we're seeing mm-hmm. right now, these are people live streaming. Yeah. Uh, so it could be anything. It could be you going to work. It could be you mm-hmm. in work. You could be uh, playing in the. You could be in the gym. You could be. Yeah. So it's really anything. It's a wide variety of things, and people get creative. You know, yeah. now there are like mini game shows as well happening yeah. within the app, and okay. people, you know, um, people give a prize of load or cash. Yeah. yeah so uh, it's really cool. Okay. So do you get to see the number of views that you have, or do you? Is, is there a group chat while you're being while you're live streaming? How does yeah, so if you see at the top there, there's a little button that shows you your diamonds. It shows you who's wa- currently watching you. Yeah. And then you actually have a live chat 
uh, at the bottom, which okay. is amazing. Like it's you have to go and check it out. It's so cool to just okay. like even on my game shows, sometimes I yeah. can't even read the chats because it's so active uh, and it just goes so fast. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. My, my, my 40-year-old mind is still <laughs> trying to catch up. Okay, so it's live streaming. Mm-hmm. So this is really the next phase in, in this uh, digital uh, yeah. uh, digital world, no? So we, we had the videos. Now most are live streaming because you don't have to edit anymore. It's, it's right? so nice. You it's, know what? It's easier. If I could, I'd post more vlogs if yeah. I could, if I had the time to edit. yeah. Kumu has made it so easy because you literally just put your phone right there and you just go live. Oh yeah. my goodness, YouTube, yeah. YouTube. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, you, you need to make some modifications, some <laughs> amendments on your uh, on your program because this is definitely something that people uh, people with no production background, mm-hmm. people without any uh, 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 editing background. This is a lot friendlier for them. Right. So and you were saying immediately it's immediate engagement, not like how it is on YouTube where you wait for the comments. Yeah. So it's immediate engagement. Once you post your uh, you, you live stream, uh, people can start commenting and chatting with you. So <laughs> Summer, yeah. uh, I hope we can have you again. I would uh, love to be. This is so much fun. Yes. I hope yeah. we can have you again. Uh uh, we have a few more additions to make to the studio, uh, but I hope we can have you again because next time we will have a Kumu account, <gasps> and Ooh. then we, we will be able to pull up and talk more about your your content on Kumu. It's just right now uh, we were uh, there was just some problems with our uh, internet server, so uh, our service provider. That's why we weren't able to pull up Kumu. But next time we'll be able to discuss yeah. more of your content. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Summer, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Uh, again, for all your uh, um, uh, your social media platforms, where, where can they follow you again? Yeah, so you can check me out on Instagram at underscore Summer is Live. I, am, I have a Facebook page uh, at Summer is Live, as well as a YouTube, Summer is Live, and... Kumu, of course, Summer is Live. Summer is Live. All right, at least it's very easy. Summer Mm -hmm. is Live, and then it's all on the different platforms. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Summer, thank you very much for coming. It was a very pleasant experience having you as a guest, and uh, hopefully we can have you uh, back on the show. Yes, uh, I'd love soon, that. Soon, sooner rather than later. Yes. Okay, so someone, please take me home. Okay, let's go home. Ayan, let's go home. <laughs> okay, let's say goodbye. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank for you. Watching thank you. and listening to our Spill the Beans podcast. My name again is Lester. And this is Paolo. And our special guest for today is Summer is Life. Please do check out all her accounts, most especially the one from uh, Kumu. Yes. Uh, and then uh, hopefully we will have her back really soon. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.